Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Author Eka. Today we have a very special guest, Marty Young, <laughs> who is our first, I'm going to say, voice professional because she does fantastic job on narration of the books that you guys are writing. And so I wanted to get her on and talk about really the, the process, how she got into it, kind of the steps, and because I have no idea. All I know is I get files back. I read the book as if somebody's talking. I go, oh, you forgot something, and I get back with them. Uh, and then, you know, the whole, uh, that that part of the business, because it is a growing part of the business. Uh, folks on the go, they like the audio books. And when you can bring a book to life and close your eyes and listen to it, you become part of that story. Uh, you can visualize it. Then that just makes it a great, great book. So, Marty. Yes. Introduce yourself. Take it away. Yes. Well, I'm Marnie. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, no, I'm a, so yeah, I'm an audiobook um, producer, narrator. I have my own company uh, called Audio Sorceress. I'm a mom, in case you can't hey. see that. I'm a, <laughs> a mom of identical twins who are nine. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's quite boy something. Boy girl or, or mixed boy boy They're girl, identical. Girl. Yeah. So the yeah. boy and the girl or two boys? No, they're identical. They got to be girls. <laughs> I mean, they gotta oh, be. Oh, yeah. oh, they gotta be girls or boys. Sorry, I thought you said a boy and a oh, girl. Really? I was like, wait a minute, how does like, identical? Huh. I've seen girls and boys look like. Oh well. Yeah, no, I guess. I don't get, I guess out, maybe, I don't get but, out much. I, guess, I don't get out much. Uh, so they're identical girls. Okay. Um, they they actually just uh, did their first audiobook not too long ago, and oh, were nominated wow. for a Sovas Award as part of a cast. Yeah. So we were both, me and my daughters were both nominated for SOVA. So it's a, it's a big deal. Excellent. It's, um, Excellent. Society of Voice there. Arts and Sciences. It's like yeah. the biggest award you can get in the voice yeah. artist category right. stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and you know, I had an agent, I had the whole thing. And uh, well, I have an agent now, but I didn't for time. Anyway, um, I had to pivot because when I broke out into television, I found out I was pregnant with twins and it became a geriatric pregnancy and it became a high risk pregnancy and mm -hmm. all this stuff. And I couldn't be the cute mom running the five miles that I envisioned every day. Right. <laughs> um, That's I had tough. to just, you know, pivot, right. um, which was amazing. I'm not, not, I, it was incredible. Um, mm -hmm. I love being a mom. It's the most re rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Um, the best job you'll ever have. Yes. Um, but uh, so a friend of mine, about two years after the girls were born, was just like uh, Patricia Santamaso. She's an incredible narrator. She was like, you have a lovely voice. And she's like, you should do audiobooks. You can make money, stay at home, you know, and, and be with your kids. Because my mm -hmm. girls were um, developmentally, still kind of are developmentally delayed and have a couple of things going on. Um, and I wanted to be home with them you know, for as long, for as many years as I could be. And it turns out I'm still home with them and they're nice. nine. So, yay, yay. um, so I was able to make the money. So it's good. But anyway, um, mm. so I did that. I, uh, put myself on what's called ACX, um, which is what all, uh, all narrators know. It's where, you know, uh, uh, authors can upload their books or claim their books rather, and then they can, um, audition narrators uh to oh, okay. yeah to uh, to do their book and then your book ends up on audible amazon and itunes um it's a really simple process actually it's very painless um so that was my first introduction was doing this acx stuff um it's uh, it's under the umbrella of amazon anyway um i auditioned for uh i thought i was auditioning for an author and i was auditioning for an for a production company Oh, wow. So they were like, what else do you do? And really? I'm like, well, yeah. I do resume. this. Yeah, I was like, I graduated my, from Yale. Here's my resume. And they're like, my let's IMDb talk. Page. My yeah. IMDb page right here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's my IMDb page. Yeah. I was like, let's I got, talk. I have one. I have one. Uh, I have you? IMDb page. Yes. I That's was awesome. I was an executive producer for uh, my nephew's short movie. I paid for it. So yeah. I was like, yeah. That's so cool. I think I got one uh, point. I think I have one point. You have one point. <laughs> I don't know what I have, but it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, just trying to make the long story short, um, that started the ball rolling. And, and you know, I, um, I was actually starting to bring clients to that production company. And I was like, 
wait a minute, why do I have that person involved? Yeah. Like, exactly. shouldn't it just be me if I'm like, you know, and I'm losing yeah. X percent yeah. of the, you know, um, so I got an engineer and it was just me and an engineer in 2018. And now we have six engineers. Yeah, it's wow. a team of nine, uh, including That's myself. So good for you. Good for you. So, it's well, amazing. good for my during, team, like, right? They they helped COVID. get me here. Yeah, but during COVID, so I mean. Yeah, oh, we 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 skyrocketed during. We were so, I mean, it was such a horrible time for everyone, but we yeah. were so lucky because everybody wanted to escape. And, and we just went through the, I mean, we just were bursting at the seams. That's when I had to hire more engineers. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and so I still do plenty of, um, I still do work outside of my production company, right? Because I, I love narrate. I mean, I narrate within my production company, but I also love, you know, working for a lot of different production companies as well. Um, and um, and that's how with David Vergoots, that's how that happened. It was through uh, Podium. So, yeah. So it was a nice opportunity for me. Um, Excellent. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much the story as far as how I got started. Um, you're, you know, as an actor that skill set really lends itself mm -hmm. to audiobooks, right? Because it's, right. it's just that, that your audience is much smaller. It is. Right. Like, well, it's just like narrating uh, animation. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're, you're reading a script, basically. Uh, Absolutely. And putting emotions with what the author wants that motion to be at that particular it, point in time. Yeah, and it's a huge... You know, I mean, with all this talk of AI and stuff, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. AI has its place. I have no, I, yeah. I, I understand that. But as an artist, I just, it's soulless to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it's lacking. I have heard AI uh, audiobooks because, you know, I got to know what's on the other side, right? Well, of course. And um, and yes, I mean, it is incredible. It's much cheaper. It's like $50 to do an audiobook versus, you know, a few thousand, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. But what's lacking is the catch in the throat, mm -hmm. the, the, the breath that's underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I was listening, and actually a lot of it is um, the intonation. Uh, it, it all goes down. It's like a downward inflection. Mm -hmm. So she exclaimed. You mean yeah. she exclaimed like she like what is <laughs> yeah. what is it like you know uh, she depressed asking no, a question. I goodness. was like is everyone depressed you know but you can you know you have all these different voices yeah. and different dialects and whatever and that's great but. Um, yeah. it's not human beings. It's right. not. And there's something about when I see a piece of art too, like visual, visually, mm -hmm. when I see a piece of art that I know has been created by AI, it feels empty. Can I mm -hmm. appreciate it? Sure. But right. it just doesn't, it's just lacking. And, 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 and honestly, the thing is our art audio as audiobook narrators, as actors mm -hmm. is evocative. And mm -hmm. what I noticed listening to AI I don't feel anything right. listening. It's not evoking. Nothing. It's not evoking there's, anything. There's emptiness. Yeah. yeah. And, and it yeah. doesn't touch you. And it should, because what the writer's writer has written is pretty mm -hmm. freaking fantastic. Right. And, you know, these emotional scenes and whatever, where, you know, the a husband and the wife are sitting over their daughter who's dying. And it's just empty. And as, it's and cold. as a, yeah, it's cold. It's sterile. It's yeah. is it smooth? Sure. Is it aurally right. pleasing? Sure. Mm -hmm. But that's not why I I do art because it makes I I do art and I look at art and I listen to art and I see because it makes me angry and it makes me sad and it makes yeah. me happy and it inspires me and it crushes me and I want all of that and I want to get away and I and I don't want to get away and I want to right you know yeah and I just well, those are the emotions that are, that are provoke even if you go you know if you go to rome or somewhere and you yes. see it's these the statues Tim. or the yes. art or you go to egypt and you yes. see the hieroglyphics or the yes. paintings on the pyramids yes. inside of you know king tut uh tutankhamun's grave mm -hmm. and you're like okay what is what that, that person that did that was you know probably the emotions yes. that they felt to be able to do that and it lasts forever then and if you see something that's uh, generated by ai you're like there, there's no there's no feeling in it. There's it's just, just something, something to somebody lacking. look at and go. Yeah, it's aesthetically eh. pleasing, but beyond yeah. that, it does nothing. And that's not why. That's not what art should be to yeah. me. No, at no. all. I so, agree. Um, I agree. So when, yeah. when your friend said you had a voice for narration, yeah, uh, my friends told me I have a face for radio. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> face for radio. 
Like, You're like, or, that's not a compliment, is that it? That took a while. That's, that's almost like the identical twin things. That took a while for me to get. So, <laughs> Are they boy and girl? No. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? Okay, they could be No, identical. they can't be boy and girl because yeah. they're identical. So, no. So, what, so you, you, you were acting. You were in Hollywood or wherever. You are doing it in wherever, New York yeah. or wherever. Yeah, sure. And then you said, okay, I want to. So, how did you? Yeah. Just, they say, okay, did you have audition? Or that they just okay, we love the pleasantry of your voice or the way that you can enunciate or carry those emotions through. Okay, what so you're, that, so that you're talking about when I booked that my very first job. Yeah. Um, your first... Yeah. I mean, I think it was just I mean, my acting, you know, I mean mm. I that's my background and yeah. so I know what I'm doing. I coach on right. the side. I um I love coaching. Um right. I uh I mean I just kinda get it, you know, like it's mm. like right. instinctual. Now I I have um it's tough because you know i i would say the majority of the people who are out there do have some kind of theater training um mm-hmm. or acting training you know they mm-hmm. might have left it and then just decided hey i remember i was really good at that maybe i'll go back and take a look at that and maybe do use my voice instead right um and even radio people <laughs> But really, you know, because they're so used to communicating with an audience, that direct connection, they understand that. And yep. that's what it is. I right. mean, really, you're essentially telling the story, just like when you were read to as a child. It's the mm-hmm. same kind of thing. And I love being read to. Like, I right. love, like, someone's telling me a story. And it, I right, feel right. like it, it, it touches parts of your, um, like, your sense memory or something that, that, fills you in a different way that you know sort of nothing else does um and brings you back to your childhood of of that you know i mean most of us have been read to um but uh i totally got off track travis i'm so that's sorry. okay so i forgot no, that, the question no, that's what this it is happen. about there, you're like marnie arthur where'd you arthur, go? Uh, arthur eke has no corner it's actually round but it was hard to come up with a name uh <laughs> so uh, corner uh, eke is corner in german is so that right like no so really, there's no corner. It's just kind of round. There's no corner. Uh, so we go round and round. So what type of books do you like to narrate? What is your right. favorite kind of book to narrate? Okay. None of my clients or anybody else I know, please don't listen. <laughs> Close your ears. Uh, my favorite is historical fiction. Now, really? I enjoy doing mm. all sorts of stuff, like thrillers and, and mm. romance. I love romance. Um, yeah. If I ever get to do a rom com, that's always really fun because I don't do them much. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I think because my voice is lower, and so uh. it's they go for the more you know somebody with more mm. mask resonance with a lot of that stuff. Uh. Um, uh, but anyway, um, historical fiction. I, well, well, Sherlock Holmes too was kind of my my favorite character growing up. Even as a young girl, I was like, you know, I just got excited yeah. about. Um, and I've always loved period dramas, and you know the like um what am i uh, gosh my brain just took a vacation again but you know um like right now i just did i've got a trilogy coming up about the american revolution which i'm very excited about um and i did um like the storming of the bastille i did a trilogy about that um mm-hmm. oh i lost you you're frozen did i lose you hmm Oh, Travis, I think I lost you. Can I chat? Oh, that's everyone. Oh, my. Can I change that so it doesn't show everyone? <laughs> hmm. Should I hang up? Yeah. Okay. I'll leave. Huh. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Sorry, my internet no, went down there for a bit. That's okay. I was I was sending you messages, and I was like, oh, wait, that goes to everyone. Who is everyone? <laughs> just, just, just you and me. Okay. So I'll, we'll, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll cut that portion out so you were talking about uh the time period oh right i was just thinking like i just enjoy uh, you know um just anything period wise that's you know not today i i just love that i love learning about you know different Mm -hmm. cultures and i'm fascinated by even like the simple details of like costumes things that they wore and the way they spoke and i'm in love with words i love words i love Mm -hmm. to know the origin of words and I don't know that my, my major was, um, I had a double major in college and it was uh-huh. theater and, um, history. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Oh, huh. so there's yeah. periods that you like and some that you're like, man, yeah. Like yeah, there's more some of, like, 
Who cares about that? <laughs> the troubles for Ireland? Eh, who cares? <laughs> now I, I enjoyed that. that. I, I was else. taking Greek history, Irish history, Scottish history. I was all over the map, and I, I loved it. So how many um, books have you narrated? Ooh. Mm, I'd say, what am I at now? I think I'm at like 280. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of reading. That is a lot of reading. That's a lot of words. Yeah, I started in like 2000, end of 2016. So yeah, mm -hmm. I've done, I've been very grateful. Very, very, uh, very, I'm very grateful. I've been very lucky right. um, to have gotten that many projects. You know, I feel like that's a, a big deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm very good at getting myself out there, too. I'm kind of, like, in people's faces. Like, hi, do you know me? Well, you have to be. I mean, you have to market well, yourself. And there's I, and so I tell much people, competition. Yeah. yeah. Every time you speak to somebody, it's an interview. Yes. That's the way that, that I look at. Not, you know, not, yeah. not, not just somebody off the street or whatever. No, I know, I know what you mean. But I know what you mean. I think yeah. you have to market yourself and be, you, and be able to tout yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you, you have to. I mean, that was something that I learned very early. I branded myself very early mm -hmm. on because I was like, looking around and I was thinking, how do I g compete with all the, especially people yeah. too, who have been in it for a long time. Like, how do I just get myself out there? And I remember I did this conference where you might think it's cheesy, probably mm. is, but it worked. Yeah. Um, my first conference, I'm like all bright eyed, bushy tailed, going to my voiceover conference. Mm -hmm. at, um, and uh, I made my business card, the outfit that I was wearing. So I was wearing a white suit with red yeah. heels. Uh -huh. And the picture was a white suit with red heels on the side. It had my name. Oh, and people wow. looked at it and they went, okay. You know, like, well, they were, cool. yeah, they're just like, it's really they're like, you're your car. I was like, okay, well, you can yep. remember me. <laughs> well, that's like the cover of a book, right? If the exactly. cover of the book doesn't grab you, then the people aren't going to look inside of it. No, I know. Some I, people do judge a book by its cover. That is true. I, I do. Certainly. Yeah. If I see that yeah. the cover art is not they didn't spend mm. very much i'm because i yeah. and it could be the best book which is sad i know because it could be the best book in the world but i'm right. like you should have saved money you should have put money aside and mm -hmm. just you know gotten that beautiful cover because people are going to see that and not know how good that writing is right exactly you know, i've even consulted early on we we don't really have to we don't really do that anymore but there were a mm. couple of people i said you know you might want to think about changing your cover, you know, because mm. we were going to be promoting them for their audiobook. Of course. And I obviously, I want them to crush it, you know, because it's going to, it's going to, it'll be the audiobook and it'll bring attention to that book and everything else that they've done. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm like, if you, you might want to consider. And there were a few that took me up on that and were like, you know what? I think I'm going to, you know, yeah. and yeah. So, um, uh, so how long? Yeah. Let's say a uh, average novel's probably three hundred and twenty pages or mm -hmm. ninety thousand, hundred thousand words or whatever. Yeah. So how long does it take you to for the narration? Is it like a sure. one time, like oh man, I oh gosh, can you imagine? I nailed it the first oh, time. Oh, can right? you imagine? Over and over and over. That'd be flipping amazing. <laughs> we'd be we'd be rolling in the money too if it just took. If it was an hour per finished hour, that would be incredible. That it's would be fantastic. probably closer to three hours per hour. So next time you hear somebody be like, why do you want to pay? No, you explain to them that right. especially when you're beginning or if you can't farm out stuff. Yeah, uh, it can take you like three hours. I think in the beginning, I was probably at like four to one. So for every finished hour, it took me four hours. Oh, wow. Just because I, I, and especially if I'm doing it on my own too, I'm engineering, I'm doing all, I don't anymore. Obviously, I stopped very right. early on. I was like, oh, I'm not good at this. I got to hire somebody. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, um, and I didn't enjoy it. And I didn't, you know. Um, <clears throat> You're artsy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can hear something and go, eh, it doesn't sound right, yeah. you know, yeah. but I can't go. It's because the EQ is this. And, the, you know, I'm like, no, I can't. I just go, something's off. Something's you know, right. We were talking about uh, AI earlier. <laughs> yeah. And how it just different, right? When yeah. you hear it. To me, that's like when I listen to an LP, vinyl. Mm. Yeah. And I hear the, <laughs> you know, I, every yeah. once in a while I hear that. And then I listen to maybe, and the sound that I was to maybe a, a CD or something, huh. and I go, that's mechanical. It's different. You know why too, though. And 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 to to piggyback on that, auto tune mm. 
is something that drives me nuts because you could, there was no auto tune when vinyl, you know, there was nothing. Oh, no. no. They just either were great or they sucked. And right. the people who suck didn't get albums. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now it's really more about your look, right? There's a lot of, like, if you look good or you're a TikTok star, hey, here's a record album. Mm -hmm. We'll put you're you right. in an auto tune. And yes, you have a pretty voice. Is it, you know, Whitney Houston? No. But, you know, we'll do this mm -hmm. and we'll do that and we'll make it sound good. But I tell my girls who love to sing, mm -hmm. and I said, don't copy them. I said, mm -hmm. don't copy. And I'll tell, point it out and I'll say, that's auto-tune. Do not copy that sound. You have a gorgeous yeah. sound. And I'll say, you can listen to Whitney Houston. <laughs> you can listen to Mariah oh, yeah. Carey. You can listen, you know what I mean? And I'm pointing yeah. out. And that isn't to say that those artists who use auto-tune can't sing, but they're encouraged to that sound that mm -hmm. I just, I don't want in for the reason what you're talking about. Yeah. Because I listen to, you know, like Elvis Presley and then just, just, it's, it's just amazing. Like you just, mm -hmm. you're like, he didn't have auto tune. He just was so. Oh, he just had a voice. So just a voice, you know. Yeah. And the country, I love country music, and listen to Randy Travis, and I'm like, that's what I, I listen to when I write. I, I listen to country western when you? I write. Yeah. What do you Who do you listen to? Oh, uh, Zach Brown. Him. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh shoot. I like the old stuff, Patsy Klein. Yes, I love the old stuff too. Because um, uh, it's a little too pop. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like he's the a real old, deal. Old, old. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I was doing with my dad. I like the Eagles. Yeah. Um, Southern so Fried I, I, I like yeah. to, I like to listen to that as I write because it's soothing to me. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 a dream. Well, what's I don't, part of I don't your like process? Writing a, so you write. Uh, so you listen to music as part of your process. What else mm -hmm. do you do you do? I like to sit outside by the pool, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I like to nice. do it in the morning. Because in the afternoon, I am uh, at evening. I'm like uh, exhausted mentally. Sure. Um, so I, I do like I, I like to I like to like go out for you know three or four or five mile walk, get, get mm. the exercise in, get the get the creative juices going. Go back, sit, you know, put the bows on, listen to some music, mm -hmm. not overly loud, but just enough, and then just start writing and, and put a lot of thought down. Like I don't I don't outline. I just kind of pantser that and i just yeah, write i know what pantser to, is now yeah I, I, and i try to get that whole <laughs> i try to get the scene out uh -huh. or the whole thing out uh while i'm doing it so that's kind of my process i, I try to do word count every day but sometimes that doesn't work and if i don't sure. want to write i don't write okay I'm, yeah you know i'm not uh well know, that must living, be i mean you're not beholden it. to write yeah because mm -hmm. indie like you don't have to that's yeah i mean that's no. the beauty of being able to no. go on on your own Yep. Right. And you have full so control, like which is also really nice. Yeah. So I do like yeah. that. Um, but uh, so when you, someone sends you a book, right. Yeah. And you go, Hey, we want you to do this. And you're like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, uh, you know, are the yeah. things you steer away from? Yes, sure. I, um, I will just say, uh, it's not a good fit. You know, because okay. I know that um, I'm not going to do it justice. And I know mm -hmm. that they've done their best, but I'll just be like, this isn't a good fit. And then right. go off and find somebody else. And that's All right. great. Good. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, everybody turns out a job. <laughs> but, you know. um, and I'm lucky to be in a place where, you know, I can mm -hmm. do that. So what's your most fulfilling, like, let's say you're, you're all done. Yeah. The book's out. And do you listen to it after when it's, oh, gosh, when no. it's already released? Oh, and, no, and what kind of oh, feeling no, no, is no. that to say, that's, that's my voice or, Hey, you know, no. check out the oh, book. No. I don't want to listen to oh. it. You, you need no, to listen to yeah. it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> like, I want you to listen to it, but don't listen to it. Like, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm so excited yeah. about it, you know? And yeah. I'm just like, I want everybody to hear it, but I don't want anybody to know. I don't want to like, I <laughs> <laughs> no, I never. I I mean, obviously, you listen to yourself as you're recording, right? Almost right. There, there are some people who don't wear headphones. I can't because I. It's harder for me to get a sense of my mm -hmm. my closeness to the mic, and I, I need those headphones yeah. just to yeah. help me sort of gauge where I'm going. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I um, oh my gosh, I just forgot again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. You wonder why it takes me three hours. No, I'm actually much better. It's it's I'm, I'm my ratio is oh. much better. No, yeah. that's, that's fine. So you you get the book. Yeah. 
you're done to get the audio book oh, you're done. right yes yes and yes then, yeah so what's, yeah so 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 what i was saying is that you know you you hear your voice all the time and you even mm-hmm. like get sick of it you're just like oh like <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know um and, that's why sometimes and, i'll talk through my nose is that right <laughs> I, it's hard though, because to listen to yourself and yeah. not pick yourself apart, at least for me, is mm-hmm. very hard. So I'll listen to that and go, oh, I should have done that. Oh, I missed that, that word. That word could have been, you know, lifted. That could have been, there could have been more behind that, you know, and it's like, no, right. don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't, they're happy, you know, if they had notes for you and, mm-hmm. and which happens, they have notes, you adjust, you, 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 you modify whatever it is. Um, and then they're happy again and then, oh, yeah. you know, it goes out there and I'm proud. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly proud of the work I've done. It's just that, you know, you're your worst critic, right? So of course you're going you to listen be. and find things that you don't like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You and have you to do, be. Cause you have to, you also, you have to got to be honest with yourself, you know, mm-hmm. like, okay, Ooh, I need to, you know, work on my diction or, Ooh, you know, yeah. um, yeah. these characters are not, they sound too close together. I need to fix that. You know, and what can I do mm-hmm. differently to fix that? So, um, can you do accents? Yeah. What do you mean? Do you think I can do them? <laughs> That's awesome. That's Russian. Are you thinking I can't because <laughs> I can? That is what I do. I do lots of accents. No. Oh, excellent. Travis, what you want to do really is you just want to. You had to know that was going to happen the minute you asked me that I was going to show not, you some of the she's dialects. She's got multiple personality I disorder do. Did either. I mention, is... <laughs> did I mention what I do? That's um, excellent. That is okay with me, Travis, because, um, because uh, that is all right with me. You? Yes, no? No, yes? <laughs> That's awesome. Do you get in the mood or you have to get into like the, the frame of mind of the book? Do you read the book before? Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I know some people who don't, and I'm like, ooh, boy, because sometimes, anyway, I need to know what's going on. But even right. even if I didn't need to know what's going on, like, right. you know, 50 pages, and he said with his Greek accent, and you're like, wait a minute, you're trying to try this, like, wait, what? <laughs> so, yes, I have, I, I notate, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I farm out stuff to, like, to get it highlighted, and because I'm just, I have too much going on. And I'm at a mm-hmm. position where I can do that. Right. Um, but, and I use that for prep uh, as, but I also, I always read the book and I take notes. I, sometimes I have people uh, summarize for me mm-hmm. too, just so that I have my own notes. I have the summary to remind me of, you know, from, from the, the arc of the, of that chapter from the beginning, mm-hmm. the middle and end. Um, and I can read that, review that right before I start just to mm-hmm. kind of get me back into yep. it. Also, I'll listen uh, a lot of times to like the last five minutes of a chat, you know, cause you can't, you don't record mm-hmm. the whole book in one day. Right. Um, that would be crazy. Some people do like, it'd be crazy. Um, I do about an hour and a half a day. Uh, it depends though. Lately I've mm-hmm. just been, it's been a little bit trickier for me to even get that in, but I'm doing it. Um, but, uh, um, um, I did it again. <laughs> that's just called being a mom you got a lot going on it's, you and, know what, and it's, your daughter's a little under the weather it's the twin mom thing and I'm yeah. a mompreneur so I'm running a company too and I'm you know I've got like we just got back from 20 books to 50k and um, that I actually got to meet David there uh-huh. yeah so it was neat um, awesome awesome but yeah so anyway um, so my brain is just full of a lot of stuff um, and I have deadlines out the wazoo which I'm grateful for grateful for <laughs> excellent but, excellent yeah so what uh what was uh what was your last book or what who are you who are you recording for so i'm david vergoots actually no more chances okay. is what i'm doing right now it's the second book in his callow and oakley um fbi thriller series okay. and it's a blast lots of serial killers i've never done serial killers before so i'm i'm having fun Oh, awesome. And I watch crime thriller like religiously. It's a little crazy because mm-hmm. people say you are what you watch. And I'm like, oh, you know, because I, but it's British. I watch all this crime thriller that's all British because <laughs> I'm just so drawn to it. I don't, I mean, we all find, you, you know, you're drawn to country music. Like we find yep. things that just resonate with us. Why British crime th- thriller resonates with me? I'd have to have subtitles. I don't so, know. what would you, uh, <laughs> Let's say there's somebody who said, oh, you know, I want to do this. Yeah. How does somebody get 
to where you're at and be able to do narrations for books, audio books? Sure. So, I mean, the, the biggest thing is um, they should listen to audio books. You know, mm-hmm. they really should just to kind of because while it is acting, it's it's yeah, when I said your skill set lends itself, it doesn't mean that it's just like a simple transfer. Because mm-hmm. what you find is that there are some actors who, you know, maybe can't do 50 characters, but what they do, they do that one character so flipping well and and it's so dang good. But when it comes to accents and different things like that, they're really kind of in that box. It's a mm-hmm. great box. It's a beautiful box. And it it's a hell of an actor with made amazing acting chops. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's important to just kind of listen to what you're getting into, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I would say, um, you know, uh, you need to, I mean, people say, get coaching, go to these workshops. We all find our own way. I mean, I, I graduated from Yale. I had kind of that going on for me. And that was, and I don't mean that snarky. I just mean that, mm-hmm. you know, it's a really good school and, um, it was a big deal for me. And, um, um, it's what I do. I act. So I didn't take workshops up until I did a workshop last, just a couple months ago, um, just to kind of see what it was like and what it was about. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so uh, they could do that. They can certainly get with coaches and whatever, mm-hmm. uh, or they can just do what I did is really throw themselves out there <laughs> and see what I'm serious, you know, create a space, just look up, uh, they can Google, um, you know, audiobook narrator, home spaces or whatever, everything's on online. And I, you know, you can look at these spaces and see how they treated them and, and whatever. Um, And then, you know, you can learn about what mics to get. I would say, don't just do what someone else suggests because your voice is different. Mm -hmm. So this is actually my fourth mic now. Um, And you don't have to start out with the creme de la creme. I didn't. I actually got several books with a USB mic, a Blue Yeti. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which I know is not whatever. You got to be where, and if your budget doesn't allow for that, then you got to do what your budget allows Mm -hmm. for. And if you're, you know, a hell of an actor, you're still going to get those jobs because there are ways, while it is USB, and I'm sure people are cringing who are, (laughs) um, there are ways to make it sound nice. Um, Mm -hmm. And clean. And um, and then, uh, yeah, so I just upgraded over the years. So anyway, so you get that set up. You, you mm-hmm. get, um, uh, I mean, ideally, if you have the budget to not get a USB mic, I would strongly mm-hmm. suggest it, especially if you want people to really look at you. You mm-hmm. say you have a home studio. They want to know what your mic is. They want to know, you know, your preamp, which means it's not a USB mic, right? Um, Right. They want to know your digital audio workstation, what's your DAWs, Mm -hmm. what do you use, Pro Tools, Audacity, Reaper, Mm -hmm. um, Audition. There's so many Mm -hmm. now. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, there's plenty. Yeah. Yeah. So so anyway, so you get that set up, um, and then um, you pick you know, a few books that you just love and would love to narrate. You only focus on your strength. Yeah. At some point you'll focus on your weaknesses and maybe that's where the coaching mm-hmm. and all the other stuff comes in. Mm-hmm. But for now, this is your best day. This is your, your, your best, what you're great at and that you get excited about. Um, and do maybe three or four samples, uh, like maybe one to two minutes, you know, mm-hmm. um, have a friend listen. Have somebody that you trust listen. If you can get somebody in the industry, have them listen. Um, and I would say put, it, put yourself on ACX. That is where the auditions are. That is where most narrators started. Not all, but right. most did. Because okay. that's where, all, you know, there are like thousands and thousands or tens of thousands of titles on there. You know, and just to kind of get your feet wet. Go yeah. out there. Throw yourself. You have nothing. My whole thing yeah. has been you have nothing to lose. What's the worst they're going to do? do They're going to say no. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a huge undertaking. Don't like people are like, oh, I want to know how you got started. And I tell them and they're like, oh, I'm going to do it. And then they never do it. Yeah, I mean, they can't take you outside and beat you up or nothing or <laughs> roll a piece yeah. of paper and poke you in the eye. I know. And it's funny nothing. because I would say I get contacted at least once a week by people that, you know, maybe I went to school with or whatever. Who are like, mm-hmm. hey, how are your kids? 
how'd you get started in narrating? <laughs> so I'm like, well, well got, my kids got, are good. Gotta preface the call. They get the, like how are your kids? I was so like, boom. just come straight out and say it. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, just tell me what you need. So I developed actually um, an email that addresses mm. sort of everything that we just talked about, groups to be a part, resources, um, people to reach out to, uh, people to do coaching with, mm. workshops with, that I just go, I'll send you an email. I'll send you an email. And then, wow, Marjorie, this is very helpful. Idea. And it, it cuts mine. I'm just like, this That's is a great it. idea. Here you go. You'd cut your time. <laughs> so so where, where can everybody find you? Dude, where I am are you located? everywhere. <laughs> I'm every, I really am. Like I am yeah. all up in people's grill. I am really there. I am all, no. Uh, so just Marnie Young. So I have my own website, MarnieYoung.com. I also have my company's website, AudioSorceress.com. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Threads or X, whatever. Threads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's. Oh, and YouTube. <laughs> Excellent. So I Excellent. really am everywhere. Excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure talking yeah, to you today. Yeah, you too, Trent. We very, both very love country cool. music. I love that. <laughs> Late bloomer. Uh, <laughs> so excellent. So great, folks. Yeah. Go check out the books that she's narrated. Yeah, and if you do. have a book that you want a professional narrator that can evidently do yeah. a lot, a lot of voices, I can do then dog. check her out. <laughs> then check her out please do yeah yeah all right excellent thank you travis thank you bye-bye